of course we are going to be doing a work with me i will be in the salon today tomorrow and wednesday which are actually all three of my days off on a regular but i decided to work these three days to be nice god we could have been at home watching tv uh, but no i'm just waiting all right you guys so i'm gonna work with my first client here which is actually a great case to talk about i probably should start calling my clients situations cases She's case number COVID Delta variant. My hair is thinning. <laughs> so as you guys know, um, and I'm glad she actually came in because it's something that we kind of talk about, but we don't kind of talk about. Um, almost 90% of maybe the population has had COVID at this point, whether it be the first, second, Delta, Omega, Alpha, all these other ones that are coming. Um, but shedding has been one of the biggest complications that we have been having specifically from the Delta variant. It is actually not even from the original COVID-19, um, but the Delta variant, which of course we know is a mutated version of the, no, that's not even the original, that's the secondary version. But the Delta variant has been the one that we have seen the most problems with hair, whether you are African-American, um, Caucasian, whatever. Everyone has been experiencing the same thing. And of course it's a viral situation, so shedding, that is based on a viral issue. It's just like saying you're trying to take an antibiotic for a viral cold. That does not work because it's viral. That means in your blood, it's moving its way around and your blood will build up antibodies to then fight off that virus. But even with that and you not having COVID and you are COVID free, shedding has been one of the biggest problems that we've had where you can be shedding for anywhere between nine months to a year. I've seen pictures of people with literal ball patches from shedding. Do not get scared. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> Boy, did you see the front? <laughs> I saw that part. You saw that part. I saw that part. Um, but really, the shedding is not the new growth. It's it's the strands that already exist. And then, of course, your new growth comes in nice and full, and that is how you can tell the difference between the shedding hair and the new growth that has come in because it is so thick and beautiful because you no longer have that virus existing in the body but remember the hair is stimulated by blood flow that blood flow i'm so sorry that blood flow now goes through the strand and then of course it starts doing exactly what it is supposed to do um which is rid itself of the virus so my client today um she came in for a silk press some treatment we're going to do some color um she actually got a protein treatment what you said two weeks ago Oh, last Thanksgiving, month. Last Thank, month. Around Thanksgiving, um, she got a protein treatment. Um, her question was, could we do a color today? Would it hurt her? Because we're doing a semi-permanent color, it actually won't do any form of negative effect on her. It actually makes the hair appear healthier because it's filling in those holes that are in the cuticle. And of course, um, she also has fine textured hair. Fine textured hair, it loves to shed. That, that, that's normal. That's regular. So then you put the Delta variant on top of it and now you're just like, I'm about to be bald head. Um, we're gonna count the strands of hair we have now. I'm just putting some laughter in there, you guys. That's all. But uh, we're gonna start by cleansing her hair and her scalp and then we will go forward with her wash and then we will also do her protein treatment. So I'm going to tilt the camera here. And what I wanted to show you guys is if you guys can tell, her roots are nice and dense, okay? So she has a nice density in her new growth, which I can see it. But when you look at her ends, I can literally put my hands in her hair and see straight through her ends. So I know for a fact that she's definitely been having an issue with the shedding. Uh, we're not gonna do another protein today. Now, if needed, you can definitely do another protein, but also remember too much protein can dehydrate the hair and break the hair. So you don't wanna go overboard thinking protein is gonna be the fix, fix, fix. It can be an aid, just like putting a Band-Aid on your boo-boo, but that Band-Aid does not heal that cut. That cut has to heal, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually do a two-in-one style treatment. Um, her hair is really oily. And then, of course, her scalp has just a small amount of buildup on it. So I am going to use the Soothe and Balance pre-treatment um, on her scalp and her hair. This is also going to help me extract some of that excess oil um, out of her out of her hair and then we will shampoo her as we would do on a normal basis now instead of me using um, the elite clarify to help extract the oil this is why I said I'm doing a two-in-one treatment um, the soothing balance 
is also a treatment or a system that contains zinc. Zinc is amazing for the hair, the scalp, and the body. Um, zinc is also great for those who have stagnated hair growth, hair issues, blood flow issues. So of course, this will actually be an aid to what she has going on rather than just a, a treatment. This is going a little bit further and adding that zinc into her hair and her scalp as well. And then of course, soothing any little itch that she has going on. And then at the same time, we're gonna use it to extract any excess oils that she has on or on her hair or her scalp. So what I'm doing, I have not washed her yet. I'm literally just massaging the Soothe and Balance pre-treatment into her scalp level. And then I will go through and just kind of apply some to her ends. Okay, this is something you guys can also do at home. So I like to show you guys how I do it because sometimes you don't know that you can do certain things with certain products because no one has actually showed you or told you. So I like to kill two birds with one stone if I can. Kind of cut down um, shampoo time wherever needed. Like if I know I can do something that will give more benefit in one sitting than me doing six shampoos, then why not? Okay, so right now she has the Soothe and Balance on the scalp level. Her hair is still dry. Her hair is still dirty, you guys. So I have not touched her hair with any form of water. Okay, she has no water on her hair. So now what I'm doing is applying the Soothe and Balance to her strands. And this is going to help extract any excess oils, but it's also gonna clean her hair and her scalp at the same time. So I'll show you guys what I mean. All right. So I've applied more than enough shampoo. Now when you do an oil extraction, you do use a lot of shampoo, hence the reason why I always tell you guys to use the Clarify. But if you have scalp issues, you can use the Soothe and Balance pre-treatment in its place and do the same thing. Okay, Mama, lean forward for me. I'm gonna come on back. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do, which I'm sure she's gonna hate me for a second because outside is cold and I gotta use some cold water. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just apply a little bit of cold water to her hair first. And I'm going to lather up the Soothe and Balance pre-treatment that I just put on her hair. Okay, so I only use a little bit of water just to kind of give me a little bit of set action before I rinse her with more cool water to extract any excess oil. So this is gonna serve as our clarifying shampoo. And then of course, this is like the best shampoo if your scalp is really itchy. Mm -hmm. All right, so this rinse is going to be with cool water. It's not a fave of anyone. I've yet to hear someone say, oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> they try to say it's great, but cold is cold is cold. <laughs> it don't matter what level of cold it is, it's, it, it's cold. Okay, the reason why I'm using cool water is because she did have a lot of oil in her hair. And cool water helps to solidify any of those oils that are in the hair and it also helps to extract a lot of that oil.
So we're going to go ahead and go into her next shampoo. I'm just letting some of these bubbles go down. Okay. So now at this point, I can tell that her hair has no oil residue on it. If it does, it's minimal amounts. Um, that's also the reason why we applied the shampoo to her hair while it was dry. So because I know she's been experiencing a lot of shedding, um, and just basically trying to get her hair back in order, we're going to actually use the B7 Beyond Volumizing Biotin Infused Shampoo and Conditioner on her today. Um, biotin, of course, is great for the hair. It's great for... Good morning. Biotin, of course, is great for the hair. It's um great for the scalp. So it's a volumizing system, which she's fine textured. But if you're dealing with a situation where you're just trying to nurse your hair back to health and you have a lot of shedding, B7 is always going to be your go-to um, for your situations like that. Can you scratch right here? <laughs> you, you could have scratched that yourself, you know. Can you scratch right here? <laughs> it's right there. I don't want to interrupt That's you. That's like somebody <laughs> saying, can you scratch my back? And then they say, scratch my shoulder. And you're like, you can actually reach your shoulder. I don't want to interrupt you. No, you're fine. Still itchy or you okay? So, so it's okay. <laughs> now what I notice is a lot of you love I've never seen anything like it right so whenever we run a sale shampoo seems to always sell out first <laughs> that just kind of tells me that you guys are thinking backwards shampoo is great yes you need a good shampoo but you also need to make sure that you are using really high quality conditioner. The conditioner is what the hair really absorbs. Shampoo is what the hair uses to extract. While it's giving you treatment, it's not absorbing as much as it would with a conditioner. So don't neglect getting the conditioner and just always get shampoo, shampoo. Some of you have like 12 bottles of Elite Hair Care shampoo and two bottles of conditioner. And I've, I've never understood that. Where really you should have more conditioner than shampoo. Which one actually sits on the hair longer? Let's see who knows. Which product sits on the hair longer, shampoo or conditioner? Which product is the whore? The, the whore. The hair. <laughs> which product? Excuse me. Which product is the hair actually absorbing? The shampoo or the conditioner? And when I say absorbing, I mean what is it absorbing more? The shampoo or the conditioner? The conditioner. Thank you. But if I do a poll right now and I say, hey, I want you to go to your elite hair care closet because I know a lot of you have it, and tell me how many bottles of shampoo you have versus conditioner. And I, ha I have a strange feeling that over half of you is gonna have more shampoo than you have conditioner. Guilty. Uh-huh, I know. <laughs> we love to buy shampoo because we use more shampoo than we use conditioner. So you think that I need to have, if I have 12 bottles of shampoo, I'll have three bottles of conditioner. And that doesn't go, they need to be equal. Okay, you can have an additional two bottles of shampoo, but they don't really go together. Like, you might want to think about that. All right, so I'm going to use some B7 conditioner, which I'm out of the mask. I didn't actually have any. I gotta go get some. But I'm also going to cocktail the B7 with the Soothe and Balance mask. So remember, the Soothe and Balance mask contains zinc. The B7 Beyond conditioner contains biotin, kapasu butter, mirror mirror, all different kinds of emollients. And then, of course, that B7 or biotin, as you guys know it. So we're going to treat it twice. So we're going to add that zinc and we're going to add the biotin, which is why I always teach you guys that cocktails are great. So don't be afraid to do a cocktail. 
just a little bit for me. So her hair is fine textured, so I'm gonna go ahead and detangle it now. Um, the Soothe and Balance mask is a great detangler for some reason. That one and the Moist Repair, they seem to make the hair super soft and easy to detangle, especially for my medium and fine textured clients. Now, if she's gonna shed, guys, no matter if I comb her or not, it's, she's gonna shed, okay? So I want you guys to kind of get out of that mindset that you have to be super, super duper gentle when you're combing out your hair. Whatever is to come out is coming out. It doesn't matter if you comb it out or it falls out, okay? So detangle so that you can get through that process of whatever shedding you have going on, and then you can start stimulating that blood flow at the scalp level so that it can nourish the hair that you have coming in. Now, if you can't detangle at this phase, you can always wait until after your deep conditioner and then you detangle when the hair is warm. That also will help. Okay, so she is going to go under the dryer with a processing cap. Now, because I know she's fine textured, even though she may be high porosity, she's only going to go under the dryer for about 10 minutes rather than 15 to 20 minutes because I don't want her hair to become heavy and absorb way too much conditioner. Go ahead. Yeah. And then just a reminder, you guys, we still have our 1150 sale going on. So all shampoos, conditioners, leave-in conditioners, um, hair care products, scalp aids, including the hair repair and growth bomb, our protein treatment, um, the heat protectant spray, all of that is on sale for $11.00 and 50 cents um the turmeric body butter the oatmeal butter and the pretty v is sold out um we will actually restock the pretty v um within the next week i think it is um the body butter we also are going to be restocking so you guys will have access to that um, we have a couple of other sales that we are going to be running in between um the sales we have now uh, we'll have some tool sales going on so you guys will be able to um get your tools that kind of thing so this is not the only sale. We're gonna kind of incorporate other sales into this sale. So, um, yeah, you guys just kind of stay tuned, okay? So today I have a couple clients. So I'll be here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday since you guys won't really be seeing me do hair for about another week or two after this. Uh, we're definitely gonna home in on hair right now and then I'll probably just do some more informational style videos um, over the holidays. Um, especially or specifically on moisturizing because that is a big thing that we need to start doing right now because it's cold outside this is the best time to moisturize your hair okay all right so I'm going to turn you guys this way you guys chill for a second
New Year, new plan. Just keep it positive as much as you can. I put the towels in the wash. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to actually. I put it in the towel. Hold on. And these boots, there's a little space. Like, I don't know what it does. Like, there's an indentation in the zipper, and it goes like this. And then it, I have an indentation in my ankle right now. And I only had the boots on like 30 minutes. Yeah, well, all my boots do that. That's why I don't wear boots. Like, that's why you always see me with the soldier style boots. Yeah. I have a ton of these. I have them coming up to here, but they hurt. Yeah. They, they, they stick straight into my ankle. Yeah, and then that little wow. soft spot yeah, above yeah, the ankle, yeah, 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 yeah. when I take my boots off at the end of the night, really? like, I have a concave, like, ankle. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I've tried to pull them off. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm over it, but okay. It says three minutes. Yes. I even tried to put my jeans in it. I took my socks off. Nothing. Nothing's happening. Nope. And then what? You gotta give them away. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot crackhead. I would never give my shoes away. I'll give away bags and clothes. You will never see me give away my shoes. I will even look at the shoes like I'm. They could be multicolored from seven years ago. I'm gonna wear you again. Isn't that funny? Like you see shoes that you. Is that is a camera? It is. That's fine. Yeah, you can talk. Oh, okay. Just don't talk your personal. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks for that. Um, you know, you'll see shoes, and you'll see them year after year. Mm -hmm. and you love them, and then you don't wear them, and you're like, I'll wear them next year. I'll wear them. Next I do that with clothes and, and shoes. Like, but I can't give. I can't. I can't give them away. I've always been a shoe junkie. Like, my goal for. I'm not going to say a New Year's resolution because New Year's resolutions are lies. That's why you don't say you have a New Year's resolution no. because it's a lie. Yeah. No. No. You no. never, no. see for me, I, I don't do vision boards. I literally will sit with a whiteboard or a poster board and I'll write my goals out. Right. The vision board thing, it's, it's cool. Everybody does their manifestation in a different way. I, me looking at the thing is not really going to help me. You get what I'm saying? Like the only thing that I can say I manifested was I took a, I cut the picture off of a pest control book from um, Macy Pest Control. And they come, you know, because you know they're going to be super expensive. Go ahead, honey. You know Macy's going to be super exp expensive, right? Because they come in. <laughs> Any company that brings you a booklet with nothing in it, and the book is just writing out stuff and just all this, you know they're about to tax you. So Macy came to our old house before we started saying we were going to look for a home. And on the front of their brochure that is the size of my textbook, it had a home on the front. It was a specific color, but it had a fountain in the middle. And then you walk in, it was a double door. The double door was a brownish burgundy wow. color. And then it had curved windows on both sides. And the garage was on this side. And I cut that picture out. I cut like. that picture out and I said, I'd like my house to look like this. I cut that out, I stuck it on my prayer wall, and then I wrote out, I typed, I actually didn't even write, I typed out my must-haves, my would like to have, and I put them right under it. All three houses that I saw that I went head on for, including the one that I ended up losing behind all the foolishness that was going on, they all looked exactly like it, including the house we're in right now. Really? They all had this, like the house we're in right now, we, it, it might not have like a fountain, but it has the it's curved window. Doors. It has the double door. It has the design oh, wow. in the double door, and the door is the same color. The house is the same color as the house that's on the picture. You're making me a believer. It's crazy. So I'm not saying that you, <laughs> your vision boards don't work. Yeah. I didn't really, it wasn't a vision board. My vision was this is what I want my house that's to look right. like. I don't cut out cars and stuff, but... I'll write out that I need to have, I won't say I want a Mercedes GLE 350. Right. I'll say I want a luxury car that is efficient on gas with a payment of, you gotta be specific, okay? That's what they say. Specific. I didn't specifically say what car because if I don't know what car, then how am I gonna specifically say? So I just know that I want a luxury car, good on gas, which I didn't get that one, but I got close because <laughs> my car is not good on gas, but okay, we okay, we're gonna still say thank you. I specifically said that it needed to be under a certain dollar amount per payment. I specifically said I didn't want to have to put a certain number or more down. Right. And I got that. And you got that. I got that. I got that. 
I put on, I'm going over the goals that I've achieved because you can't put out the goals that you haven't achieved. Don't ever do that either. You never speak outside to people your goals that you haven't achieved. It's okay to talk, but sometimes you might you might speak it to the person that is blocking it on the inside and you don't even know. Not say you're doing it, that's good, that's good. but you just don't do it. You just don't. I'm 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 one of those people. Speak, speak it in the air, but speak it to yourself. You get what I mean? Yes. Like yeah. it's, it's no, what that, they say: that power of life and death in your tongue. That's right. The death could be the person you speak it to. That's right. All right. That's right. So on my list, I said I wanted to have 400,000 YouTube subscribers by October 31st. I hit it November. Oh, hey, girl. I hit oh, it hey, in girl. November. That I did. That I did. I said I wanted to clean up my credit and get all my credit cards down to 19%. I was forced to do it because I couldn't. They, they wouldn't lend to me until I got to a 681 credit score, and I was at a 659. And I did that in 30 days. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing wrong with writing your goals out. Like, I'm going to write my goals out person, and then every couple months or so, you go back and look I don't really, like, taunt it down, but, you know, I'll look at it like, well, let me see what I've done. Right. And then you'll be so surprised the things that you wrote a year ago versus the things that you're like, well, wait a second, I did that. Right. I didn't even remember that I wrote that as a goal, but I did it. But you are, you know, you are, I, I watch you, and I'm not saying this for anybody out there. But you do more, and I don't know, you are, really, I, I, she's not paying me to say this. <laughs> no, no discount on today's <laughs> processing. But truly, when I watch you, and you know, you pop up on my feed, you are such an inspiration. I mean, not Thank just you. only in your own life, and what you do, and how you raise your kids, supporting your husband, but just like for everybody who watches you, just the things that we can do as women, as black women. Thank you so you know, much. I don't know how many hours in a day you got, but you know, the next Not time that you was cooking, the same amount you do. <laughs> cooking, and you running this one here, and then you got this going. And it is amazing. And I think that's Thank how you. we all become even quietly inspired. You know, sometimes I'll watch you, I won't say anything, sometimes I do. Um, but I think we also have to let people know who inspire us, even if you don't see people, and I haven't seen you in more than a year, yes, no, that you have inspired me, and I do watch you, and I do appreciate the things Thank that you, you say, um, and the care that you give back to your clients, or just Thank people you. who are watching me, and I, I just think that it's wonderful. Thank you so you much. Know, no, I welcome. appreciate it. No, Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't be coming through here often, but I've been showing people, see my profile picture? They're like, wait, you get your hair to the girl. I'm like, girl, you gotta go up to Altamont. You got to go to Altamont. Listen, it, it's, it's a journey. It's, it's People, it, it looks so simple on this camera sure. every day. We make things look like we are so super perfect. And we are so far from it. I, I have the same issues y'all have. Oh, okay. Here, let me take this part off. It's fine. Two cups of coffee. And then when you come. Okay. So you, like, people think that life is so perfect. You make it look so nice on here. Listen, I have the same worries y'all do. I promise. I have the same things that happen as you guys. I got man problems. <laughs> my, my man is nowhere near perfect, honey. None. I have children problems. I have dog problems. I have car problems. I have all of that. But it's like, why be sad? Just smile. Because guess what? That's the one thing nobody can take from you. A bill collector cannot take it. They can't take your smile away. They cannot take your smile away. They can take your happiness, but they can't take your smile. I need help. I have a lot of hair. And when my hair was short like crystal, it was easy to wash. Now, if I wash it over the sink or tub, it's so hard and gets tangled versus in the shower. What do I do? So you need to start, you need to pre-detangle your hair. That's number one. Number two, you're probably using the wrong products. Um, number three, if you hold your head down in the sink and try to wash your hair, it's going to tangle more than when you're in the shower and it's directionalized. If you pull your head down in the sink, I don't care if I'm washing Alex's hair, Christian hair, Adriana's hair. When Christian is laying on the counter and I wash his hair, his hair doesn't tangle as bad. But if I have him hold his head down in the sink, it will tangle really bad because I'm going the opposite direction of the way the hair grows. Versus if they're in the sink, it goes the direction that the hair is growing. Does that make sense? So I definitely say make sure that you get you have the right shampoo and conditioner. 
that's super important. And then also, you know, if you prefer to wash your hair in the shower, then wash it in the shower. You'll get less tangling and also pre-detangle before you wash. What did it say? You will ask, you ask, you will get it. God said you ask not because you want not. Amen. <laughs> that is a fact. Does biotin help with hair thinning? Absolutely. Absolutely. Biotin helps with anything, hair. Um, but it's only one of the Bs. So the B7 collection, the reason why I decided to add the Kapasu butter or the, we call it the tropical butters because it's more than just one butter in the B7 Beyond collection. There is, oh my gosh. Let me see. I'll read to you guys the different butters. Some of them I can pronounce and some of them I cannot. So of course, biotin. Date fruit ferment extract, shea butter, tamanu seed oil, monoi flower extract, coconut oil, babasu seed oil, kapasu seed butter, mira mira seed butter, vitamin E, mango water, coconut water, um, amino acids or rice amino acids. Um, I can never pronounce that one, so I'm not going to try. Um, those are kind of really the ones of, of the most benefit. Those are the ones of the most benefit. So that is why the B7 collection has so many butters in it, because biotin is great. But you have to be able to cut the fact that you need more nutrient, and biotin alone is not going to do it. Shut it, let me bring it over. I'm going to buy the b7 beyond is a, an amazing system absolutely absolutely too tight are you okay a little too tight. it is an absolutely amazing system good mm -hmm. okay come on back would you recommend biotin by mouth or just in shampoo i would recommend the goddess growth gummies because it contains biotin that you can take by mouth. But then for your hair, I would also say to use the biotin shampoo, even though it's not just biotin. So our goddess growth gummy contains a lot of other nutrients rather than just B7. Okay, biotin is not the all hail fix to hair, it's not. Eventually you give your body too much biotin, it begins to rid it off and it will not absorb. So this is why we use the Goddess Growth Gummies instead of just biotin, because it's powered towards the hair, the skin, and the nails. Remember, the scalp is also skin. Just because it has a name, it's still skin, you guys. Okay? The follicle needs more than just biotin because this is something you're introducing to your body. There's other nutrients that your hair needs. It needs that vitamin A. Vitamin E, it needs vitamin D, vitamin K, iron, potassium, magnesium. Okay, so all of those matter. All right, so we're going to do her color. But the reason why I did her conditioner first is whenever you're going to do a color and you know you need a deep conditioner like my low porosity people, you are going to condition and deep condition first. After you deep condition, then you can go through and do your color service. If you do your color service before you condition, you basically are stripping the color and the life of that color before you even start. Because you are already shampooing and conditioning and applying a product over something that is already temporary. So if you're going to do a Repair RX protein treatment, or maybe you're doing one of our mask treatments, or maybe you're doing some form of cocktail that you decided to do today. You're going to do that first and then do your color service. All right, Mama, go ahead and sit in my chair. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get her color. You want dark brown or black? No, dark brown. Okay. So we are going to do um, a dark brown uh, we'll be using the Clairol Beautiful Advanced Gray Solution, which you guys know is my favorite line um, for my clients with color. 
Um, and for also my clients who have gray hair. So I'm actually going to do a little cocktail and I'll tell you guys why. One thing that I can say about the Advanced Gray Solution is their dark colors have a base of ash. Who can tell me what color is ash? If I say it has a base of ash, what color is ash? Let's see who's been listening all these years that I've been telling you guys color theory. If it has a base of ash, what color is ash? What color is ash? The word is ash, but it's, ash. it's actually a color. Gray or black? Nope. In hair color, ash is green. Green? In hair color, ash is green. Crystal was right. She was the first person to say it. Really? Ash in hair color is green, not ash, like okay. ashes. Right. In hair color, it's green. In hair color, purple is not purple. It's violet. Huh. It's violet. Purple is not purple. Huh. In hair color, it's considered violet. So there's different terminology for color. So how I am going to counteract the fact that I know that the beautiful collection or advanced gray solution has a green base. And when I use brown, mm -hmm. this is very common. The hair starts to, to fade green. Some people end up turning like it's, it's not a green that you can see. It's like a hunter greenish brown. Mm -hmm. It looks like like camouflage. So how I counteract that is I put one drop of red in my color. Red is a neutralizer or a canceller of green. If you look at the color wheel, what color cancels green? How you know is whatever color is directly across from it on the color wheel. So red is across from green. Red cancels green, green can cancel red. Violet is across from yellow. Violet is what we use to take yellow off of what color? If you have this color on your gray, what am I using? to get rid of that yellow? Violet. A violet colored shampoo or a purple, purple shampoo. Why? Because they sit across from each other. They're canceling colors. Blue cancels orange or orange can cancel blue. So if my client's hair is too purple, I've yet to find a yellow shampoo. But there is a shampoo that is yellow in color that can help to minimize purple, which is normalizing shampoo because it's orangish yellow. It is orangish yellow. So it will neutralize the purple. It's color theory, y'all, okay? Okay, my, my chemistry teacher, if he could see me now, if he could see me right now, because I hated his class. If he could see me now talking about color theory and chemistry and bonds and negative and positive charges and all these different things. So with me putting the red in the color, her hair is not gonna turn red. That's the reason why I use one drop of red because that red is gonna now bind and cancel any green that could potentially come. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys over here. You good? Okay. So I'm gonna set you guys up here. Alright, so where are we going to apply her color first? Am I going to apply it to her free hair first? Am I going to apply it to her roots first? Or I'm going to apply it to the area that I know is going to be the most resistant at the roots first? The front, the front doesn't necessarily have to be the most resistant. The most resistant, absolutely. So it, ne it doesn't necessarily have to say that it's the front. You just wanna make sure that you apply it to the areas that you know is the most resistant first. And if my client has wire gray, which is exactly what my client has right now, this gray has another texture from her actual hair and I can tell that it's on her hairline, I already know that any gray that feels or looks like wire is going to be the most resistant. So I'm gonna apply it to her hairline and I'm gonna really press it in because if the hair is not touching the color, then it cannot actually color. It's not going to actually color. The hair actually has to be touching the color for it to color. You, you need to, I was gonna tell you that. There's two dryers occupied. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are they I'll both going them. or are they empty? No, they're, they're stopped. Okay, so there's a bend in there, okay. right by the thing. So I can take them out. Yeah, I'm gonna take them out. You take them out. And you put them in that bin, 
Uh huh. Whoever towels is this, they know that was dry they were in. They gonna know that it is. They gotta stop doing that. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. And then pick whichever dryer you're gonna use. Mm -hmm. I don't walk around the salon to figure out whose is what. Them need to stop leaving them something out of dryer. It's not your house. If you're leaving stuff in the dryer, first and foremost, if you're at the laundromat, you're leaving stuff in the dryer, aren't you scared people going to steal it? Mm -hmm. So do the same thing here. So they be leaving their towels in there like they're at home and their kids coming to take them out of the dryer. Don't do that. I'm at work. No. That's aggravating. What do you mean by more wire? Wire. A texture. Hair looks like wire. It's, it's like barbed wire. It sticks out. Anyone with gray and that type of gray, they understand exactly what my terminology means. I promise you. Anybody with gray hair that has this texture that I'm describing, they know exactly what I talk about. Now, if you don't have gray or your gray is not in this type, your gray might lay down. Your gray not, might not be so rude. Your gray might be very nice. Then you won't really get it. But if you have that gray hair, like, like wire, <laughs> listen, it literally, you could silk it to death and it's still going to make sure that you understand that this is what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm making sure that I'm going through and I'm applying the color to her roots first. This is the most important. Okay. If you guys notice, I'm oversaturating in her front because I know that that hair is the most resistant. And if that gray hair is not touching the actual color, it is going to become more like a sheer color <laughs> rather than a full coverage. I am a working chemist. I can confirm most of the application I have learned has been from stylists and estheticians because they see it. <laughs> They see it the most. Absolutely. She's tender headed. I don't know. Are you? No. No. Mm -mm. No, not at all. Mm -mm. I hit one and that was the washer. That's it. Right there. Okay. Start. Which one you have? It's two. The one above me. There you go. Oh, okay. Somebody's to get a free No, you have to press start for it to go. It doesn't add time. This is also why I tell you guys, when you're applying your color, what do I say to use when you're applying your hair color for the best results? Who can tell me what I tell you to always use when you are applying your color? Even if you're at home. There you go. Say it again. A brush. A brush and what? Gloves. Okay, we know you need gloves. You don't want it to stay in your hand. But a brush and what? Because you can use a brush and not use the other one, but you need to use both. A brush and what? What am I using a right comb? now? Nope. A brush and a, a, brush a and brush. what? What am I using to apply your color right now? I have a brush in my hand, You're but where's the, the color? Bowl? A, bowl. a bowl. There, the there you go. Mm -hmm. A bowl. A bowl and brush. Already mixed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have more control. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be able to saturate better. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be able to mark out your pay or pave your way as you go, so you know that you don't miss any of the crevices at all. Is it done? Yeah, but um, the washer still says push start. So I want to make sure you catch your refund. It was still flashing when I, left. I did the dryer, but the washer still says. Hold on. Um, request refund. Uh, reason for refund. She didn't fail to start. Which transaction was it? Washer one? Yeah. I submit it for a refund, so okay. just leave it. So just close. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, basically, somebody's going to get a free watch. That's fine. Get them out. So, yes, a bowl and brush. <laughs> bowl and brush makes a huge difference when you're doing your application for your gray. Because at that point, you know that you are saturating and you're pressing the color into the hair. This is a semi-permanent color, you guys. It does not lift the hair at all. It puts it wherever you put it. That's exactly where it is. Wherever you put it is where it's going to color. If you don't put it there, it's not going to color. I also have a bowl and brush. For those of you that don't know where to get one, because I know everybody don't have food beauty supplies. I get it. There is a bowl and brush set and a spatula set in my Amazon store, which is the link in the description box. If you guys click that first link when you close your chat in the description box or where it says more right under the title of the video, you'll be able to get yourself a bowl and brush so that you can do your color application professionally. That's number one, because everybody that uses elite hair care products are pros. OK, we are pro products. And at the same time, you know that you're going to be applying your color the right way like a pro professional. If your stylist takes that color and they just literally splat it on your head, I'm not saying they're not a professional, but they're just not doing it the professional way. So they're showing you bad habits. Like when I tell you guys to do as I say and not as I do, I'm not practicing what I preach. That's the reason why I say that. But I used to, like I'll measure color. I use my scale when I'm measuring demi-permanence or permanent colors based on manufacturer specifications. Like, I didn't get really into color until I became an advanced artistic educator for Pravana. That's when I really started homing in on the skill and understanding that this is really like a career. This is not, it's, it's, it's really like you're really going through chemistry school in a matter of days, hours, months. And you have to understand the chemistry, you have to understand chemical makeup, you have to understand the compounds of the different things, you have to understand what makes them work which is why you guys will hear me talk about negative and positive charges. That's why you guys hear me say all of that. I learned that all through color theory. All right, so now that the color is at the root level, if I have any color left over, I'll apply it to the remainder of her hair. But really, the service is based on the root retouch. So that is why I apply it to the roots first because I know that I can comb it through and kind of get it all the way to her ends. And then whatever color I have left, I'll just apply it to the external parts. So you're trying to place an order, but it keeps declining your card. Um, I can think the only reason why it's going to decline your card is if your CVV or your CVS information is incorrect. Um, with that saying, you want to make sure you check your billing address because that's super important. It will literally tell you that your order can't be processed because it can't verify that information based on the card information that you're providing. Um, outside of that, you can probably use ShopPay. ShopPay will allow you to enter your card through their, their portion of the site. Um, and then it's kind of like using PayPal instead of inserting your own card. Sometimes it reads some cards, other cards it doesn't like. So I have some companies that I shop through. It won't read my card, so I have to use PayPal or Shop Pay, and then it will read their card, and those companies read my card. You can try that. Or you can um, close out your browser 100% and start over, but I, I, I don't like doing that because you'll lose the whatever's in your cart. So. Just try the two different options, but we don't have a way of actually charging you um, unless we send you an invoice for you to be able to um, purchase that way. All right, so she is going to sit with this for 25 minutes. Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. What I'm also going to do is one of the pro tips that I always share with you guys, which I'll show you what I mean. So this is 100% biodegradable, zero cling, but you can use plastic wrap. This is for hair colors, you guys, but you can use plastic wrap. It does the same thing. Um, you'll take the wrap, and usually the most resistant is the front. So I will take the wrap and press it in 
to the resistant areas to keep it down. Okay. I'm not covering her entire head with plastic wrap. I'm still giving it its space to process as it should. But this is just making sure that I'm allowing the color to actually touch the hair, which is one of the biggest mis reasons why a lot of you guys, your hairline is not covered because it's not actually touching. Okay, so you can do that. I will say this zero cling wrap is not the best for this. I would prefer regular cheapo plastic wrap. It actually sticks. So you can use that at home. And then I just leave it open so that it can open air process. Um, the reason why you don't want to use a processing cap is because processing caps work with body heat and they open the cuticle. So it's using heat to steam and open the cuticle. Semi-permanent colors don't work well because if you open the cuticle, you've diminished the pigment of the cuticle by half because now it's dropping in instead of coating on the outside. Did Alexa say okay? Alexa, how many minutes is on the timer? There are no timers. I know. <laughs> Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes. She's very disrespectful. Chase <laughs> said, what do you recommend for brown and pale skin? My hair is thin and shedding when I wash. Wait, what? What do I what? recommend for brown and pale skin? My hair is thin and shedding when I wash. Um, what does the brown and pale skin have to do with the hair shedding when I wash? What's her name? Tay. 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 Um, let me say this nicely. No offense to the fact that you have brown and pale skin, but that don't really tell me nothing about your hair. So I need you to give me details on your hair so that I can help you with your hair. We love that you have brown and pale skin, but that, that doesn't affect the hair. No girl, they don't even go to this one and two don't meet. They don't meet, they're one behind the other. You lost me with that brown and pale skin, but the hair, <laughs> come back with another one. <laughs> oh, she said, I mix, don't like to use the word. So what? Use the word. What? <laughs> I'm black. <laughs> what I'm going to say, I'm light skinned? I'm black. Use well, the word. Okay, you're mixed, good. but that still oh, okay. doesn't tell me about your hair. Tell me about your hair. You can be mixed and still have very Caucasian style hair. So basically she's saying she's biracial, but her hair is thin and shedding when she wants. But that's, that's but still yeah, don't tell me what texture your hair yeah. is. That don't tell me much about the characteristics of your hair, my love. Give me some characteristics of your hair itself. Are you low porosity? Are you a, a, a teeny weeny fro? You know, what they call that TWA. You know, give me some details about the actual hair. Um, Lauren said, would you use this for a rinse? This is a rinse. A rinse is a semi-permanent color. Rinse is just the hood word. It's it. It's a semi I don't even know when it's time to get it. Where's my phone? You see my phone? Oh, okay. Hi, Crystal. Oh, she's getting a real accent. Okay, I'll sit right here for me. How many micrograms of biotin, biotin do your hair, skin, and nails, gummies have? I had a bad reaction to some highly potent biotin supplements 10 years ago causing major skin issues. That was from Sheila. Sheila, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but we do have the nutritional value scale on the website. If you go and click on the Goddess Growth Gummies, hello, beautiful. If you go and click on the Goddess Growth Gummies, you'll see the nutritional value picture where you can determine what is good enough for you and what is not. You getting a real answer? Yeah. Oh. Mm, um, normal. This is my superiorly healthy, now relaxed hair client whose hair is like almost down her back. Yes. No, the, the purple one. It's in the cabinet now. Okay. I'm on, this is aisle number five. Only three more to go. I'm over it. Thank you. 
How's it going? Where's the baby? <laughs> She's home? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want to take off your arm, your glasses? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm still working on the cords. You do one a day. If you do one a day over the next three weeks, then we done. Huh? Yeah, sure, sure. I think you've done way more than I did. I did one thus far. Girl, I'm so over them. I just once they're done, I guess I feel better. I don't know. I'm, I just can't stand doing them. The repetition thing is what gets to me. Stephanie said, good morning, are we live? Are we? Are we? Yes, we are live. All right, so we're going to do a retouch relaxer. No, it detangled it, but I'm just saying I, I twist it, you know? Oh, okay, because yeah, I'm like, like you know you're out. not going to be curly. That no. don't really go that way. <laughs> no, I comb it. Because like, okay. that's, that's it's so tangled because it made the time for so long. Mm-hmm. So I use the conditioning spray to get it softened. Did it work? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is good. Well, you know the roots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I already know what I'm in for, so it's fine. Hi, I have relaxed, uh, relaxed, fine, textured hair that is thin in the top. Can you recommend the best shampoo and conditioner? You have relaxed, fine hair that is thin in the top. Um, so you have a couple different choices. What's the name? Don? Lavon. Lavon. Lavon, you have a couple different choices um, of systems you can use. You can use the B7, which is a volumizing system. That's great for fine textured hair. Um, for the thinning spot in the crown, you can use some super growth serum along with a growth stimulator tool to help with the absorption. Um, you can use the Empress collection, which is also a strengthening collection. Um, that is powered by horsetail butter, or you can use the traditional, which is our hair repair original, um, which is the hair repair collection. So you have kind of like three choices. Me personally, I probably would have said to use the B7 in conjunction with the super growth serum. Do use biotin. It just seems there's not enough kind kind of brutal sometimes. Okay. What's her name again? Tay. Tay, here's here's my question, because you're still grazing over my question. Here's the question. So we know that you have a coarse texture. I understand you, that part of the description. What shampoo do you use? Do you use shampoo? Do you use conditioner? How often do you wash your hair? Do you know your texture? Are you coarse, medium, or fine? I'm assuming that you are coarse, but you could have a mixture of different textures in your hair. Are you low porosity? Are you high porosity? If you don't know, that is also going to be one of the starting places for you. I'm going to recommend that you get our What's My Porosity class. They are also $11.50. So you can take that class for $11.50 and then figure out your porosity because that's gonna really be your roadmap to help you with what your hair needs. I can talk and tell you all day, but if you don't know your porosity, then what I'm telling you is kind of like an educated guess. And that goes for everybody. If you don't know your porosity or you don't periodically check your porosity because it can change, then really you're just kind of making an educated guess and just going on a whim. Valerie. Um, Eddie said, what a beautiful head of hair to work with. Yes, she has a beautiful head of hair. <laughs> a few of them said her hair is beautiful. I grew it for her. <laughs> <laughs> I can take the credit. Thank you. 
No, she has beautiful hair. She's had this beautiful hair all her life. <laughs> no, when he said good morning, do you mind? Yes, please. There's a, a tan, that tan one that's sticking up there. Thank you. Morning, say good morning. Do you recommend alternating shampoos for relaxed hair? Like one week is your strengthening and next week moisturizing shampoo? Absolutely. What's her name? Melanie. Melanie, um, absolutely. So here's the thing. If you're relaxed and you're going to use any of the moisture products, I recommend that if you use the moisture shampoo, then you need to balance it out with one of the strengthening conditioners. Or if you're going to use a strengthening shampoo, then balance it out with a moisturizing conditioner. You don't need as much moisture as low porosity hair, which the moist repair can be very moisturizing and it could also make the hair heavy. So how you balance that is you give it one or the other, okay? So you're not gonna really go full on moisture because naturally high porosity hair absorbs. It absorbs anything it touches. So I'd say to kind of give it a balance. And now is the perfect time for you guys to get whatever shampoos and conditioners you want during the 1150 sale. You don't need the gold one, it's too heavy. It's oil. Oh, that would be too heavy? Yeah, that's the oil base. The water base, you can use that every day if you choose. The white one? Mm -hmm. Like on the scalp, right? Right, not on the hair. Right. That's at the scalp level. Oh, okay. But don't get too heavy with it because it's it's gonna make the hair slightly wet, but if you use too much, then it's not gonna absorb. Okay. So you only just need a couple drops and then you massage it in and then wrap your hair like you would and then go to bed. Okay. The yeah, spray is a spray. Uh -huh. It's a spray. Yeah, that's the guy. That's just like a styling aid. Oh. So you can you spray that on, like when you comb your wrap down, and it just looks like frizzy-ish or something. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's just for styling and adds a little bit of gloss. Right. That's it. I did see the gloss too. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Portia said, good morning, Crystal and everyone. Which black color do you use for gray? I have a few gray strands. Do you also use Clairol Advanced Gray and Black? Um, Yeah, that's 1A. That color is 1A. Yes, I use it in black. I mean, it's not like a blue black. It's not going to be the, the deepest black you'll ever have, like jazzing. But if it's gray that you're covering, um, I would say to use the, the black from the Advanced Gray. Now, I only have like two, three strands of gray hair. I don't use the advanced gray solution because it's not that much gray. So I'll use my blue black or any other company I, I choose. But if you have a lot of gray, anything over 25% gray, I'd use the advanced gray solution. Phyllis, if you just send an email, um, send an email to info at elitehaircareusa.com, um, and I'll just have an invoice sent to you. So all you need to do um, is put the items that you want, um, your mailing address, well, actually your billing address, and then we'll send you an invoice, and you can try it that way. Sometimes that helps. Also, you might want to contact your bank because if they see you keep trying the same thing over and over, they'll block your card and not tell you anything. So I'd contact them first and let them know, hey, I'm trying to make a purchase and it's, it keeps telling me decline. And then they can tell you why it's declining. So stop trying. Call your, your card company and tell them that you're trying to make a transaction. 
they're gonna say how much is it for when were you trying to make it and then they can see on the back end why it's not working whether it be you're entering the wrong zip code whatever they can tell you so I do that before you lock your card up if it's not already locked Marie said my hair at the top is thinning well she said thinking but I think she meant thinning um, out from menopause hormone imbalances is there anything I can use good morning I'm sorry is there anything I can use to grow my hair back Marie um, I mean it kind of depends on why it's thinning menopause is also it's a contributing factor because menopause starts to stimulate those androgen hormones that we carry that are nice and dormant. That's your male hormones, testosterone. They start to take over when you go into menopause. Um, but if you know like your mom, your dad, maybe your grandma, like a very close family member has thin hair or thinned, um, that kind of is a telltale sign if that's the reason behind it. Um, you can get a culture done at your dermatologist. <laughs> Uh, you can get a culture done through your dermatologist or a biopsy. Um, I always recommend seeing your dermatologist just for, you know, them to just really like see if there's anything scalp wise that's going on. Um, product wise, I just say, you know, the basics, hair repair and growth. Um, you can do a protein treatment to kind of help with any type of shedding or breakage. Outside of that, you got to kind of figure out the culprit first. And we always want to say, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, it's menopause, but you don't know. One does contribute to the other, but you don't know if that's what it really is. I think Pamela was talking to Phyllis. Was everybody was talking to Phyllis? But she said, I know my work card and gift card didn't take. I want to send her a money order from the post office, but Crystal might get me good. But they both work on Shein and Amazon. So if they work on Amazon, use Amazon Pay. We have Amazon Pay on there as an option. So you can use the Amazon Pay, and it will use your Amazon account to pay for your transaction. No, that was somebody else telling Phyllis Oh, okay. I thought Phyllis was saying she did it. Okay. And then she said, tell us what gift card we can use. That's Pamela. Um, that's kind of hard. We don't, I don't, I can't tell you what gift cards you can use because we don't actually process our own credit cards, you guys. We use Shopify. So Shopify has its own merchant processing. We don't have any control over what it takes and what it doesn't. The only thing I can tell you is that we take Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Diners Club. Um, if you have a Diners Club card, just go ahead and just send me a million dollars, please. Diners Club, Diners Club is, it's, a, it's an exclusive club card. Most older people have Diners Club because they have a million or more looking at. Um, but no, Diners, it's like an invitation card. The invitation. It's just like some of the American Express cards. Gotcha. Um, Marie it's the said, people who golf. Yeah. <laughs> Marie said I have a homo imbalance in my hair at the top of thinning out. Is there anything you can recommend that I use to regrow my hair at the top? If it's a hormonal imbalance, that's that's your problem right there. I mean, we all as females have hormonal imbalances, but I know what you mean. Um, zinc is always a good one um, for any type of internal hair issue. It, it's great for people with autoimmune issues, which usually hormonal imbalance kind of falls into that category. Um, so the soothe balance would definitely be a nice um, pairing. And then, of course, if you are low porosity, then you use the soothe balance along with the moist repair. Um, if you are high porosity, then you can use either B7 or the Hair Repair and Restore or the Empress Collection, just really based on the benefits that each one provides. So like B7, if you have fine texture, then I would definitely say B7 com combined with the um, Soothe and Balance. Jasmine said, hello, Crystal and everyone. Um, well, Jasmine is very detailed. She already knows. Thank you, Jasmine. Um, she says, I have natural, very short, 4C, fine haircut, low porosity with breakage and dryness, balding spots due to stressful and poor diet stage. How do I repair and maintain moisture? So the one thing I know you don't want to hear is your stress. I can give you a million products and your stress is still going to make it worse. Um, but no, if you're fine textured and low porosity, which is very uncommon, so I would I would beg to differ. I would say to check your porosity again, because typically fine textured hair is very porous. 
So I would check that again. But if you are indeed low porosity, but fine textured, I would say the hair repair collection um, or the Empress collection. I still wouldn't say moist repair because fine textured hair doesn't do well with the moist repair. It, it becomes very heavy and it's just weighing the hair down. Um, and then you can do a repair me mask. You can do a moisture, moist, excuse me, moist me 24 karat mask. Those masks are also great to kind of balance out your moisture content. Um, even B7 would work for you as well because you're fine textured. So that's going to give you that volume and the biotin all at the same time. And then you can kind of trade it off with some super growth serum in your bald spot. You got a lot of options. So okay? Mm -mm. <laughs> Everywhere? Mm -hmm. How, in the middle. How long you been burning? Uh, about a minute now. <laughs> okay, let, me, let me try to smooth out these roots real quick, please. <laughs> Krista said I'm going to have to buy me some coveralls because I'm farming. Need some new hair with my super growth serum and tool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good thing. I was like, where is she going with this? And Listen, I, I thought she was going to say she's opening a farm or something. I was yeah, going to say, well, well all right. Thank you guys for sharing. <laughs> Taste it. What's yeah, the fine. name of your products or mm -hmm. name? <laughs> Say again? Tay said, what's the name of your products? Go ahead. She, she can't last any longer. Okay. Um, the name of my, listen, Tay, I have over 30 SKUs, so there is no way for me to tell you all of them. <laughs> and it's kind of redundant. Like, me telling you all of them won't really help. All right, I'll, I'll do your Q&A in the meantime, if I can see. Hi, Betty. Hold on, you guys. Um, focus more in the middle. That's it. That's where it's really burning. Okay. That's me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the mm -hmm. So we now have our um. New forms for damaged orders, missing orders, all of that. All of those forms are now um, live. We also have our contact page fixed. I've been working on this stuff all weekend. So for those of you that are having issues with an order, maybe you um, can't find your order, you got a damaged item, you're missing an item, all you have to do is go to our website and you can either use the live chat bot at the bottom, which is that little like pink anything. sticker which is that little pink sticker um, or a little pink circle that's in the... When I watched my video the other day, I'm like, I can't hear myself. No, just... Um, yes, sorry. She always made me lose my train of thought too. I'm going to start charging extra money for people that make me lose my train of thought. Five dollars. 
She was talking about your website. That they could go uh huh. There we go. See, see, she was listening. Y'all see how that goes? Okay. Uh, no. Okay. So the website contact page now is linked directly to our customer service system. So we use a system called Gorgeous. It is not spelled the way that you think Gorgeous is spelled. Um, but you can use the little chat bot circle that's in the bottom right corner of the page, or you can go to our contact page. And it will take you directly there. When you get to our contact page and you click, let's say you have report an issue or issue with an order, it actually requires you to either enter your email address and your last name, or you can search by order number and last name, and it will literally search your order, pull up all your order numbers based on the parameters that you entered, and then each individual order you do customer service for based on that order number. So let's say you're missing an item. When you go into Gorgeous um, and you say I'm missing an item, it's gonna bring you and ask you what your order number is or what your last name is, whatever, which one you wanna provide. And then it's gonna search and it's gonna bring up that actual order. It will tell you if it was delivered, it'll tell you if it's in transit. You don't have to email and ask a question anymore. It will literally tell you everything you need and then let's say you have a damaged item. You'll, Alexa, stop. You'll click damaged item and then it will send you the proper form that you can electronically fill out. It's not something you got to print off. There's no extra printing, nothing. You fill out that form and then it sends the inquiry directly to us. You'll be able to upload your pictures on that form, everything in one place. And then we will also be able to now have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Accountability at the end of the day, because you're gonna get a copy of this form that says, hey, we got your submission, and then we're gonna get a copy of this form. So then we are now held accountable because we have either not completed your form, we haven't um, rectified your situation, whatever. So now we have all of this set up so you guys do not have to worry about, <laughs> Kimber, I don't know why he put you in time out, Pat does that. You guys don't have to worry about, oh, I sent an email here, oh, I sent an, e an email there. Do not send an email, you guys. Just click that contact link or use the little chat box at the bottom. They both go to the same place, and we will take care of you from there. You bought some pink salt. Listen, pink Himalayan salt is actually good. It's great, and it doesn't over-salt the food. It's not like iodized salt. I buy coarse ground um, pink Himalayan salt, and then I put it in my electric grinder. <laughs> I'm super fancy now. <laughs> And then I use my Amazon batteries that I got 60 of them for $12. I would never run out of batteries again. <laughs> Amazon batteries are cheap. You get a pack of like 24 batteries for like $12. And they are way better than the Dollar Tree batteries. You guys ever notice that the Dollar Tree batteries are super thin and they're super light? Because they have like this much energy for that big of a battery. It was January 12th. Okay. All right, so I guess I can show you guys or give you guys an example of what I mean with, um, I have a question about clarifying shampoo. What is it, Paul? That is good, Lillian. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys an example. Let me find an order that I can use to do this first. I don't wanna go and use somebody's stuff and then it becomes a problem. Let me see if I see an order for myself here that I can use. Do I have any orders for myself? Have I ever done anyone? Did this go to my house? Let me make sure that my address is not my house. Okay, I can use an old address. All right, good. So I'm gonna turn this around. So I'm going to show you guys, I don't want to like break this thing. Let me see. Can you guys see? Hold on guys. I'm going to use my iPad to do it. Can you, you on there? No. Okay. No, I wanted to see if you were on there, but you're not. It's fine. All right, so on my iPad, I'm gonna go to our website, which I've actually never gone on the site from this iPad, so this is new. If you guys can see my tablet and you don't see like a glare or anything, put a one in the chat. I just wanna make sure you guys can see what I see. All 
All right, good. So you guys can see my website. Okay, this is on the iPad. So when I click here, there's a little button right here. You can use this little button, which is a chat box. Okay, and you can come here and we have what we call quick answers that you can use. Um, with quick answers, if you hit damaged order or missing item, it's going to say, thank you for contacting us. Our sincere apologies in order for us to further assist. Please complete our damaged missing item form by clicking the link below. When you click that, it is going to take you to the actual form where you'll put your name, phone number, email, your order date, your order number, the date your order was delivered. Um, it even asks you for the time, which I've got to remove that because that's going to be aggravating. Um, it'll ask you to choose the best option. You can say um, missing items from order. Then it'll tell you to upload your packing slip if you have it, upload a picture of the box outside and inside, and then any other notes that you have regarding this order. And then you confirm that you're a human and you sign your name. You can sign it literally on there, okay? So that is how that works. Now, if you use the chat box, that's what it's gonna do. If not, um, it'll say, um, did, was this relevant? You say, yes, no, I need more help. And then it'll say, okay, you can wait for an agent who replies by email. Other than that, you can also go to our contact us page. So when you click contact us, um, from there, that is where you will be able to uh, send a um, contact inquiry and then we'll help you from there with that. So that is just how easy we've we've made it where you don't have to like do a ton of things. Even here, if you say you want to book an appointment through the chat bot, when you hit book an appointment, it's going to send you back an automated message. We're so glad you want to book an appointment with Crystal. Crystal's calendar opens monthly on the 15th. I made it very informative, so there's no questions. Um, her schedule is real time, so to view available appointments, if any, please click that button. You click that, it takes you to my booking site. And then you can go see whatever services you want. Like, your girl is, is coming up in life, okay? I'm stepping it on up. Um, cancel my order. Same thing. Let's say you placed an order and you want to cancel it, which I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. But, okay, that's fine. Um, it'll say, thank you for contacting us. We're sorry to hear um, you want to cancel your order. Unfortunately, once it's placed and in queue, it can't be altered or canceled. Once your order is delivered, please reach out to us and we'll get the process started. So if you have already placed the order and it hasn't shipped and been delivered, you can't actually cancel the order until you have it in hand. Um, order missing over seven business days. You click that, it'll say here, thanks for contacting us, please complete the missing order form. You click that link, it takes you to the missing order form. You complete all of this information and now you have a copy, we have a copy. That is like the easiest, kind of a self-explanatory way of customer service. Like we're trying to make it very automated. Very, very automated. We'll be restocking the clarifying shampoo sometime this week. Um, you can also track your order from here. So if you have an order, this requires you to sign in. So not just anyone can come and just put in your order number, see your address and see who you are. So it's gonna say you gotta put in either your email address or you can put in your phone number and it'll send you a code. I'm gonna use email address and do it for myself. What, what email did I just use? I'm gonna use this. This is my, um, Crystal likes to hide behind her fake email address. So y'all can email this address if you want. <laughs> You're gonna get a error message. All right, so I'm gonna use this because this is my test the system email address. And then it says send a code. It's gonna send a code to this email address. So you have to enter that code in or you can't get any information in regards to the order. Um, there we go. Okay, and then here, it's gonna show you every order that you've ever had so you can track each individual order. So let's say order 37853, I say that I need to report an issue. I'm gonna hit report an issue. It'll come here. Um, it'll say I'm, I'm past my expected delivery date. You click that, then it'll tell you to send a message, you'll get a reply, same thing. Like, it's just real simple, you guys, like real simple. I try to make it as easy as I can, okay? So I hope this helps to kind of streamline a lot of the things that we have um, in regards to questions, that kind of stuff. 
Let's see. There was one more. I actually need to fix that, and I need to fix that. But that's besides the point. I'm going to go to home. Come on. Let me go home. So we've updated the bundle kits, except the Empress is the one that sold out. So all of the bundle kits are on the site now. Um, you can also take the hair care quiz if you need help with what products to use for your hair. You don't always have to wait for me to come on live. You can actually do that yourself now. If you need to get to an authorized distributor, you click Authorize Elite Distributors. It'll take you to where you can click Elite Hair Care Canada, Europe. We have an affiliate in Georgia. It'll take you to her. So for our Canada site, if you click Canada, it takes you directly to Elite Hair Care Canada. She actually updates this site like every week. If I tell you that she keeps her site on point, my site gets updated like every year. So the fact that she works so hard on hers, I have no complaints because I'm not doing it. Every year, you might get a little update. So this year, you want me to show you the update that I made this year? I just actually did it. Hold on. I'm so, I'm so excited that I actually did it too. So I'm going to show you guys. Here is the update that I made. I changed this one picture right here. And I changed that picture right there. And then I actually made this picture right here. I'm super glad that I did that. That is the updates. That's what, that's what we call updates, okay? So, okay, all right. Just making sure y'all understand how this go because people just be doing the most and I'm not doing it. All right, so I'm going to show you guys our, um, we call it the help center. Elite Hair Care USA dot gorgeous which that link that I just typed in was supposed to take you here, but it didn't. So I'm going to fix it. I think I didn't save it last night. Dot gorgeous. Dot. Actually, wait. Um, Is it here? Some things don't work, and I'm not sure why. So now I know I have to go fix something for real. That's going to irk me. So I'm going to show you guys what you will see when you click the contact us page that magically decided to not work after I spent all night on it. All right, so this will be the page. Really, y'all? Don't mind me, people. I'm just doing my thing myself. Let me see if that works. Okay, there we go. Anyhow, this is what you'll come to when you click contact us. So if the chat bot is open, that means that we're within business hours. It'll tell you our business hours are 9, 10 a.m. to 3.45 p.m. Eastern time. If you need to contact us, you click contact us. If you need to report an issue, it's going to say sign in to manage your orders. How you sign in is you can do your email address or you can sign in with your email and your order number, which I'm going to sign in with my little dummy email. And then my order number is whatever order number. Which one is this? Let's see. 37853. See your orders. It will then come to this page where it's going to list every single order that you've ever made using that email address. So right here, it's going to show that I have five different orders. I click this one. It'll tell me that I had this order. It was for that item, um, for that item there. If I hit report an issue, it'll come here and do the same thing and then move forward. So. It's kind of all tied in together where you don't really have to work so hard to get in contact with us or worry about your emails going in the wrong place, which was a very big thing for me. You can also change the language on here. So if you speak Spanish, you can change it to Spanish. You can change it to um, Portuguese and Creole and all of that stuff. So yeah, that's what your girl was doing. In a nutshell, I just gave it all to you. Am I doing hair today? I would think so. I am here in the salon. <laughs> Thank
Thank you guys. So there's some little kinks that I have to work out, which I'm probably going to do it while I'm sitting here waiting on my client anyway. Um, which I contact page needs to be fixed. But a lot of the stuff, I do this kind of stuff like myself. Like I spent all night reading code last night. I learned wow. some code, but code is not for me. Code is for the other people. But I know how to navigate some of my own stuff. That I can say. So I don't have to pay a developer every time I have a problem. Now, big things like website revamps, and I'm not messing with all that stuff. But I will pay someone to help me with the other stuff. Okay, so that one is there. I'm super confused why the other menu is not updated. Oh, I know why. I got it. Main navigation. <clears throat> okay, sir. Oh, <laughs> pack, I'm sorry. Grace said, pack, been asking a thousand times. How often the current clarifying shampoo should be used? Now, Paul. We're not going to call you, Pac, because now you're just asking me a retarded question. Let me back up. Paul, how long have you been on my YouTube? How many times have I answered this one question? Anyone on here, answer Pac, also known as Paul Allen Cook II. Tell him how often we use the clarifying shampoo. Because I don't know if today is Monday and it's super cold in Nebraska, so you're not really understanding. Because I know you've been on my live a long time. So someone tell Paul, how often do you use the clarifying shampoo? And it's not by time. There's not a time. When do you use the clarifying shampoo? Before every what? I'll wait. What, what, what did you say? Before every what? Every wash. Don't look so scared. I was just asking a question. My gosh. Y'all are so frail, frail before, in here. Before every wash. She said it. Before every, every wash. Paul. Paul. <laughs> Paul. You see when you ask retarded questions, I'm going to call you Paul. I'm not going to call you Pac. I'm going to call you Paul. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, Paul. But is it different if we wash every day or every other day? Oh, I forgot, Crystal. You and Pac are my two light skinners. <laughs> okay, I get it. No, no. If you wash every day, no, you don't use it every day. So now I understand why Paul asked this question. But no, you do not use it every day. That would dry your hair out to death. No, not every day. Not every day. Crystal, I would probably say if you do, you got to do one wash day where it's an extreme wash day, right? Not, not every single day you're doing an extreme wash. And I'm not sure why you're washing every day too, because even if you're light skin, even being a light skinner, being a Caucasian, washing every day is, is redundant because that's why you're building up so much oil. That is why you're building up. So Crystal talking about pack. I got you, bro. I get it. I get it. Okay. My, my two light skinners. I got y'all. Okay. No, but you shouldn't be washing every day. That's why your hair is building up so much oil. It's building up too much too fast because you keep washing it. I would even say, Crystal, if you can get away with washing your hair twice a week, that would probably be a lot better than washing it every other day. That's a lot. That's the why your hair is continuously oily. It's a lot. And I don't want nobody to take offense, okay? Paul is my friend. I can talk to Paul like that. Y'all can't talk to Paul like that. I can deal with Pac that way. Y'all can't deal with Pac that way. So don't get beside yourself. Okay. We have a love here. This is, this is the love that we have for each other. Don't disrespect him, though. Yes, Tanetta, we are a family here, but Paul be doing some real sideline things. Because <laughs> he, he be trying it, he be trying it like, okay, I'm just going to keep asking over and over and over, and I'm just going to start ignoring over and over and over. 
but that's my pack okay so y'all don't try it because you'll get blocked was a man this year okay so that should tell you a lot <laughs> pack pack has been a girl for two and a half years just so y'all know pack always been a girl for that long someone valerie for you to send a gift card to grace when you purchase the gift card send an email to info at elitehaircareusa.com and in the subject line, put please send to Grasshopper and I will forward it to her. So all you gotta do is purchase the gift card. It's gonna send you the gift card email and just forward it to me and I will get it to Grace. It's a little complicated to send gift cards. You have to purchase the gift card and then forward it to whomever you're forwarding it to. So I will take care of it from there. Kathy did the same thing. Anybody who wants to send Grace a gift card, pack a gift card, um, Octavia, anybody you're gonna do the exact same thing but please put their name in the subject line so that i can differentiate to read your email versus not to read it everybody thought, thought pac was a girl nobody really read into it because he knows so much he's been on here so long we just found out that his name is paul like a week ago so now i'm really in the game He's been packed for years. Nobody knew that his initials was his name. And I'm going to assume that he was born 1993. That's why he used 93. It's okay, y'all. That's fine. Ah, uh, Nanny. Let me see if I can read this. Hola, hola, saludas desde Mexico. Let me translate that. Please translate. Hola, hola, saludas desde Mexico. Sure. Translate into which account. language? English. You can translate into English and many other languages and translate. Did I just ask you to do that? Hello, hello. She's Greetings from hi. Mexico. Can, 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 I, can I learn? Oh, go ahead. Can I learn my Spanish? My Mexican? I'm sorry. My Mexican? I'm sorry. <laughs> she said hello, hello. Greetings from Mexico. She was just telling us hi. Oh, that's what she was saying. I just shrink leave-in and then a little bit of the um, heat protectant spray. I can speak Spanish too, guys. Hold on. There we go. Hello, beautiful. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so now I'm going to translate that from English to Spanish. Hello, beautiful. Okay, are you going to translate the thing? Or are you, are you going to like say what I just said or are you not going to say what oh, I just said? Um, let me do my thing. I, I, I got a translator for a reason. Play translations. Oh, yeah, but that's not... Yes, please. Y'all give me a second. I'm translating. Just wait. From English. No. Well, I guess not with me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember she told me that last time. Yeah, I heard. Okay. Okay. Cut. I know I'm taking long. Y'all just wait. translate app is super nice hello beautiful thanks okay yeah, but you're not translating what i said no one interrupt me i'm gonna get it i'm having a conversation okay y'all stop laughing i hear y'all laughing in your head it's okay it's okay i got it 
if 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 Google see Google Translate always wins over Apple because Apple is just difficult for them. This is how I talk to our line people. <laughs> English to Spanish. There we go. There we are. Okay, there's my response. Hola, hermosa. Gracias por unirte a nosotras. If I had to read that, that wouldn't be what it said. Hola, hermosa. Gracias por unirte a nosotras. Yeah. That's good. I'm going to translate it into patwa for you. Wagwan, my girl. Yeah. Is that easy, always? That, that took three words, not. Hola. Hermosa, gracias por enito a nos, nosotros. Oh, that's the man. The female says, hola. It's actually the same. It just sounds like a guy. Hola, hermoso, gracias por unirte a nosotros. That's just a woman with a deeper voice. Hola, hermosa, gracias por unirte a nosotras. Aha. Hmm. I wonder if it can say wagwan. Let's see. <laughs> Y'all won't believe what the translation is. is, it? is it? Wagwan, my chica. <laughs> it only it only translated the my chica. It only translated that part. Guys, I'm sitting here because I'm waiting on my clients. That's not, it's not, I'm not just sitting here taking my sweet time, okay? I'm waiting on my clients. There's nothing that I have to do at this second. Okay. And. Ah, Chinese. Let's do that one. Oh, my. Hagua wode nuhai. That says wagwan, my girl, in Chinese. Let me show me. Hagua wode nuhai. Uh huh. Hag. I'm going to. I'm gonna go to Jamaica and say that to someone. Let me tell them my dad is from China. My dad will probably curse me out, y'all. I'm just joking. Okay, she's okay. She is ready. Mm -hmm. She's done. Okay. She can go on duty now. You can take her cape off though, and you can just leave her um her towel on. I still have nothing to do, you guys. So y'all just I know y'all ready to roast me in the comments because it's gonna be somebody else. She sure got a lot of time. It's Monday. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, I could tell Alexa to do that? Oh my gosh, look at that. Alexa, translate. What? I didn't hear her. She said, I said. She's real rude. She said, I said. Grace told y'all, because Grace is just super educated, so of course she's gonna tell you. rinse her with cool water and then a little bit of moist me mask just a small amount just to detangle her and then rinse that out and then we'll go to the dryer this one right mm -hmm. just a little bit though making my alexa wanting to translate i'm tough listen I can't deal with Alexa right now because she just she talked to him. She be asking too many questions. Remove that block. Contact us. Supposed to go to. Why won't this job leave me alone? I'm live. <laughs> Alexa is answering to Crystal in my house. Oh, sorry, Dad. My bad. Mm 
my bad father. I forgot that my Alexa is connected to yours. Sorry. Alright, so I have one client under the dryer who just got her relaxer. And then my next client, she's getting her color rinsed. And then she's going to go under the dryer and then we'll style both of them. And then my next client comes in at 12.30, which is my famous client, Sam. So then we'll go from there with her. But in the meantime, if you guys have any hair care questions, I'll answer them for you. What can be done about hair thinning? It kind of depends on why you're thinning, Karen. So when you and Alexa get done acquainting and after carnival, please remember we here at Elite Hair Care is waiting on mood spot. Tanya, the pettiness though. The pettiness. Wow. Wow. You guys know that we are working just as hard as you you think that we're not to get this moon spice, but there's nothing you can do. Crystal, you could say, hola, bella, como estas? Easy peasy. Yeah, I can do that part. Hola, bella, como estas? I'm Spanish. You don't see the skin? My skin is just dark because I'm in Florida. I am. Yeah, girl. You didn't know that? I thought, no, you not. You did not know that, huh? You straight up Jamaican. Don't even play with me. I get it, honey. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> All right. Hey, Amora. Girl, we just playing. We're just playing. I promise. We're just playing. Listen, listen. The Spanish get on there and talk sometimes. Then no half number. No. Although. Bon travel. I know in Curacao they say Bondi or Bondia. Bondia. Side hair repair and restore. What other line can I use for my relaxed hair? You can use the B7 collection and also the Empress collection, um, Miguel. Karen, hair thinning is in the family. Can anything be done about it? Not really. If it's in your 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 genetics, your chromosomes, there's really not much you can do about that. I can switch Crystal said prayer. Somebody who's going to appreciate it, you know? Right, Crystal? Hmm? Just say right. Right, right. Oh my God, because we thought COVID got to me all of this. 
Pac said, I'm not all that light skinned. I do got some eth ethnic swag in me. All right, Pac. If you like it, I love it, honey. If you like it, I love it. farming with a ghost salmon tool and pray that's what I do do I need the whole soothe and balance line or can I just use the pre-treatment for my itchy scalp or more you can just use the pre-treatment okay. all right so she's gonna go under the dryer I'll show you guys once again how to do your leave-in spray and um, heat protectant blow dry spray. So before you use any of our leave-in conditioners, you always wanna make sure that you shake them up. So you will mist on your leave-in conditioner, depending on how much hair you have. When you mist it on, you're gonna rub it in, super important. Just because you spray it on, that doesn't mean that it distributes itself. Okay, it might move, but you might wanna move it yourself. And then after I put the leave-in conditioner on, that is when I'm going to take my H2 Pro heat protectant blow dry spray, and I'm going to mist that on as well. Can you press that thing for her to come? Um, and then we're going to use a wide tooth comb and comb her through and twist her up for her to go under the dryer. Okay, so now that the heat protectant spray is on, which is our blow dry heat protectant spray, if you guys notice, her color came out beautiful. Okay, and then you're just going to detangle and rope twist her. I think Sam is getting a relaxer, but I'm not sure. Okay. Hi, pretty. Hi, how are you? Good. Hi. Sam, what are you getting though? Relax. Okay. Can you just get the um the relaxer stuff ready for me? Yeah, normal. Okay, we're just gonna rope twist her into three. Detangle as you go. Don't forget that part. Before you go into the dryer, your hair should be thoroughly detangled and rope twisted. she's going to go under the dryer to air dry and then we will um, blow her out do all that good stuff okay mom you guys can switch Sam, sit in my chair Samantha sit in my chair <laughs> Oh, 
for him. Can you squeeze in a color for me? Take that out to me. All right, so we're going to also do a rinse or a semi permanent color on her. She specifically requested that I put base in one individual now spot. Tell, tell her, tell her, tell her. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the base where she requested in the one spot that she scratched, knowing that she shouldn't have. But okay, it's okay. I don't, I don't go anywhere. I sit here and wait for you to tell me you need an appointment. No, honey. That ain't how it works. Oh, gosh. Never somebody like you with your big job and every second you on vacation. No, the last time was it wasn't vacation. Chin <laughs> down for me, please. All right, so we're going to use a normal strength relaxer on my client. Um, because she said she was scratching up there, I'm kind of going to start back here instead. And then I'll save this area for kind of last, just in case, because I do want her to process. And she will literally sit and let it burn. Y'all don't know this client right here. So I want to make sure that I don't allow her to sit and burn. around and drank a uh, soda this morning and forgot that it was a caffeinated soda. I don't know why I did it. Now I got the jitters. Alright, so I'm working my way down and then I'll work my way from the crown and then do that area where she said it was um she was potentially scratching last and then you guys don't forget that our elite hair care canada distributor is having a sale everything is 35 percent off
What's up, two, three, five? Two, three, five. 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 Two, So we're going to work our way into this little area here. So that's the uh, that's the area where she said it was um, itching. So we'll save that for last. Sorry, the screen froze because my phone said it's about to die. Shadi, you do me a favor. Can you push plug that in for me? I wish somebody would come check me about these towers. So that's why I'd be like, uh, no, because what they do in here, like every other salon suite, right? The towels, they, they'll put them in there. You'll come to work, put your towels in there. You'll sometimes, some of them be leaving their towels in the washer all day. So I know your towels be nice and sour because you don't put them in the dryer right away. And you know, anything that sits in the washer, it starts to go sour. Right. So then even though you washed it with soap, they stink. And then they'll go and they'll do 16 more clients. And then at the end of the day, you want to rush and go put towels in the dryer like nobody else was waiting on the dryer. No. So anytime I go in there, like if I see that the person might have put their towels in or, or maybe they were in a rush, whatever, whatever. Some days I'm super gracious. And I'll use my own money and I'll start the dryer for them if they were in the washer. But if you're already in the dryer, that means that you know those towels are only going to be in there 30 minutes. Come on, like, remember that there's only, there's like 25 other stylists in here that use the same washer and dryer. And then I'll go, hold on, I'll go at the end of the day. 
right? Get my towels out. Your stuff's still sitting there. It used to be so bad that some of the other stylists at the other location, they would fold your towels. They were super nice. I'm not folding nothing. If I see a bin in there, whether it be yours or not, I'll take them out and I'll put them in the bin. I'd never put your stuff on the floor. But still, like, be great. Like, consider it for other people. It's not just you. Were the towels, the, were they the same in both dryers? I know who they are. I know who those are. I, I know who constantly does it. No, not that. The one that had the capes in it, were they dark colored towels? Yeah. Like a blue, some of them are blue? I believe so. And brown? I don't know. I should tell you that I know whose towels they are. Because she's notorious for doing it. With the capes too? Uh huh. If that's the case, you need to carry a toilet by your yard. Stop <laughs> doing them here. Bring them home. And that washer's still the same as ours, so it doesn't ever go off. Why should you pay for it? No, but I just, that's why I told them that it, it wasn't working. So they'll just refund me, and then whoever, got, whoever gets it, they just get a free wash. Oh, okay. The best time to go in there? It's when the maintenance man is here trying to fix the washer and dryer because he starts all of them for you for free. Oh, <laughs> yes. So anytime I see the maintenance man come, I wash everything. So I'm going to put the relaxer in her nape area now. And then I'm also going to go back and do that area right there in the crown. All right, so we're going to do this area now. We just did that area last, so that'll give us time to process back here. So all I'm doing is just using my comb to pull out her root area and then use my finger to smooth it. You can also use your comb to smooth it. So when I smooth my relaxers, I do not use the teeth of my comb to touch her scalp. I just use the teeth of my comb to really just lift the hair and straighten it off. That's all.
there any questions on that? No, so the U.S. everything is 1150, excluding the flat irons, the hair masks, and the bundle kits. No code is needed. Okay, mama. Um, Antoinette said, just to make you smile, will you be gifting your family and friends with your products this year? Just to make my friends and family smile? Um, or me? She said, oh, we'll go back. Well, she said, just to make you smile, will you be gifting your family and friends with your products? Well, she already know my answer, I guess. <laughs> Clearly, she knows my answer. No. My family don't want to buy nothing. I'm not gifting any. Um, that was it. I have low porosity hair. It's shedding. I have a perm. Please help me with what products to purchase. So she has low porosity hair. It's shedding and she has a, a relaxer? Yeah, but she said perm. Okay, so if you have a relaxer, you're no longer low porosity. You're high porosity. So if it's shedding, if it's shedding, you are going to use our Elite Repair RX. Thank you, Shadi. You'll use the Elite Repair RX um, for your shedding, and then you can use the Hair Repair Shampoo, um, or you can even use the B7 collection. It might have a little bit more moisture in there um, to kind of help combat what you would consider low porosity. Um, but yeah, once you have a relaxer, you don't consider yourself low porosity. Chemical processing makes you become a high porosity person. So your, mo your focus is the fact that you are chemically processed, you need an equal balance of moisture and um, hydration. Starting to look a lot better. I I'm already. I think I'm down to about missing one, two, two and a half. They've been broken. I've been holding out until Thursday to death because I'm not. I'm not going to do one until Thursday. I refuse.
right, so we are gonna go ahead and blow dry her. Um, for the iron, I'm going to use our Elite Anniversary Iron, which is the one inch titanium. Remember, we sprayed her with the blow dry heat protectant. this weekend and they had Dyson blow dryers on sale. Who can guess how much the blow dryer was on sale? $179. $179? Okay, so my client said $179. Let's take two more guesses. How much was it on sale this weekend? $400. $400, okay. Two more. Anybody else gonna get? Five hundred, three ninety nine, seven hundred. It was on sale for four sixty nine ninety nine. That was the sale price of this blow dryer, and that's my price. Five ninety nine. Hold on, and that's the retail version of this blow dryer. I have the professional version of the blow dryer. So you do the math. <laughs> you can go ahead and rinse. You can rinse her. Yes. Yeah. So you do the math. I have the pro version to that retail version that is four sixty nine ninety nine. Wow. <laughs> mm hmm And that was at Ulta. You must be magic. Uh, I doubt it, so it's it's a good iron. Don't get me wrong. No, I would never say blow dryer. I mean, blow dryer, dryer right? It's a, it's a good blow dryer. I won't say that it's not. But if you don't use it as much as I do, there's no absolute reason I would buy a Dyson at home. I'm sorry. Is she burning it? Hold on. Okay. Is she burning in the back? Um, no, she said a little bit she's singing, but she want me to rinse yeah. her in the back. Where, where is it singing, Samantha? You're not going to tell me what to rinse. Where is it singing? Rinse that part, please. Rinse the whole thing from the she front gone back. To, to the <laughs> Don't listen to them. Hear what I just said. 
rinse her where it's burning first, please. Okay. And then rinse how we normally rinse. No, no, no. She tried it with you. She ain't gonna try that with me over there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to her. Yeah. More rinse the back first. She will literally get a third degree burn just to make sure that it's straight. <laughs> and I just told you that, right? I was like, this burn, you can get a sore burn. She don't business. She don't care if it's sticking to her forehead. Is it straight? That's all she care about. Is it straight? It could be sticking to her her whole forehead, and she don't care. No. <laughs> Y'all be trying to get away with murder over there in the shampoo bowl. All right, you guys. So I'm silking out her roots. And then we're gonna do a textured press, which is what I think we did the last time we did. Is that what we did the last time? Wow. It was like curling. Like, I, I wanted to do yeah. curling. Yeah. Like she gonna okay. trim it, trim it, trim it afterwards. <laughs> I can still texture press. Actually, no, the last time, well, you can do it you want, but the last time you trimmed it when it was dry, slow mm -hmm. dried, and then you did it for two more months. Mm -mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would never trim you like this. I would have. You trimmed it? You no, trimmed it? it? If I silk you it. Oh, like you silked it first. Yeah, you know, like, I'm fine. You silked it first. Yeah. You would never see yeah. me trim you like this. It's not straight enough. Okay. Yeah. So we're doing what you call a textured press. She's still going to get a trim, so I'll show you guys. What I mean? What's a texture press versus the regular? Texture press means that I'm silking and curling all at, at the, the same, same time, time, rather than silking you and then going back section by section, right. and then curling you so that it's super bone straight. Right. So it's not leaving a ton of texture; it's just a very small amount. Is it better? Like I can't remember. Uh, I mean, it's a it's less directly doing it this way okay. because I'm only doing it one shot, one pass. That's why they call it texture. But like, like Samantha, but like Samantha yeah. said, is it straight? Is it straight, right, Samantha? Is it straight? I told it's bone straight. No, I'm asking what she do. I'm like, is it supposed to be straight? Oh, oh, I'm not just doing it. They all, they all. I just want to know if it's gonna be straight <laughs> when I get home. <laughs> it's gonna be curly and straight. Y'all are so funny. <laughs> Only because you're the master crystal. Because you know when you go to somebody else and they do this, don't come out right. It, that's a possibility. So yeah, you're right. That's what I'm saying. That's what happened at Thanksgiving. They come out right. So I want you guys to pay attention to how shiny her hair is. Look at that. Shiny. And I'm actually curling with my one inch titanium iron, okay? a billion times. <laughs> She's getting a, a color. She's getting a color as well. So just after you shampoo her, just put a cap on her because I can put a color.
Okay, my phone just won't stop. So for our hairline, I'm going to use my three-tenths of an inch black diamond iron. Thank you. So your hair will have beautiful shine. Oh, thank you. Products. <laughs> Products. Product and skill, honey. Product and skill. So if you guys notice, I'm maintaining tension on her hair until the last piece falls out of the iron. Okay, nice and light. Is gray relaxed here high or low porosity? Um, I mean, if it's relaxed, it's considered high porosity. But it might resemble or have characteristics of low porosity here because gray is its own texture. It's very resistant. So um, if you're relaxed, though, you can't really cater to just your gray hair. So you're going to cater to the majority. So if you guys notice, I'm making sure that I create my coil and not just leave her hair hanging in, in disarray because then that's going to make sure, basically leave my curl looking frizzy.
Love her hair. Thank you. We all have been given different talents. That's why we need each other. Absolutely.
All right, you guys, we're going to trim her. Satisfaction. See when they just don't let me work. I'm sorry. And then they get like, oh, I shouldn't have asked. I shouldn't have asked. Wait, where's my shoes? Oh, I found them. All right, so we're gonna trim her. Trim out for the mom.
Thank you, darling. Thank you, dear. <laughs> now, I need the... What was the concoction? Okay, is it on sale? Which concoction? What was the concoction you gave the buyer to the... Oh, I don't know. The B7? I don't have B7 in here. It's only on my... So, the B7 is on my... The B7 shampoo. Is it conditioner? No, I don't have a shampoo. And then the Suna Balance pre-treatment, but this is the shampoo. So, you need Suna Balance pre-treatment? You want to put it in? Put it in. Come to us.
What was heat that? Protection. Heat protection. Heat protection. Okay. They're all on the mm -hmm. side? Mm-hmm. Fuller, fuller back then, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you have first time in here, if not, that's right. Mine's going to apply. Thanks, All right, so we are going to apply. 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 Color. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I'll give you a one and three fourths because your hair is long. The one and ten will really help you. <laughs> so um, text me your address and I'll mail it out to you. She got the last flat okay. iron. And then we said pick one. Just pick any one. Pick one. Yeah. Nope. Inside is something different. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'll take two R one. <laughs> Watch out. You gonna eat the candy now? No. <laughs> she couldn't even say, let me keep it pretty until Christmas. Okay. Thank you, Christmas. Go and eat the candy. Okay. All right, I wanna eat the candy and open it now. Okay. So each card has a different gift inside. Ooh. All right. Oh, I'm loving this. Thanks. Thank you. Which one did you get? I got a free hair treatment certificate. All right. So when I'm you happy come about in, that. They're Bring valid this. until um, March 1st. Okay. So when you come in, um, you book your appointment like you normally do. Yeah. And then when you come in, bring that with you, and I'll deduct it at the end of the session. Oh my God! Thank you so much, honey. Aww, Aww. you got one too. You got one too. You're welcome. That's so sweet. All right, Carrie. Which one did you get? So some of them had a free color. It was just different ones. Carrie, that's so nice. Thank you. You got a hair treatment? Uh -huh. So everybody's getting We're hair treatments. All right. Oh, oh, so same thing. Thank bring you. yours with you. You'd book like you normally would. And then bring that with you. And when, when you're at the end of your service, I'll deduct it. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Put this is for like next service. Right? Mm -hmm. You can use it up to, um, up to March 1st. Oh, I see. March 1st. Beautiful car. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this is an additional to the, the mm -hmm. oh. So it was two games. Okay, so let me explain. There was there was two games. Four cards had a secret star on the back corner of the envelope. Right, right. Yeah. Right there. So three people already got the secret star. So it was like really wonky in the chocolate factory. You find the one with the with the little star. Then you get a quad iron. She got that one just now. She got yours. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I picked for you. So oh she God. got a free flat iron, but her hair is so long, I can't give her a one inch, so I'm going to give her the one and three fourths inch. Oh, oh, that's what you were saying. Okay. All right. All a one right. inch is going to do nothing for her. So she got the last flat iron. Wow. You're welcome. Since you have so much hair, you probably need the flat iron. 
She actually yeah. doesn't even have one, so have one. it just worked out. Oh. She'll let, usually air dry her hair because she doesn't yeah. have one. Okay, right. I'm looking at. I don't really apply on my hair anyway. <laughs> I was like, what's it's like yeah. twice a year? That's it. Yeah. yeah. So, do you use the post office system? The post office or another carrier? Somewhere. It depends on whichever one is um, cheaper. We don't really choose, yeah. but if you if it's a PO box, it's gonna automatically go to the post office. Okay. If it's not, then it will go um, whichever route, whether it be UPS or the post office, whichever comes first. Okay. So depending on the address that you use. If you're going to use a P.O. box, then it will go to the post office. Yeah. Use a PO box. Okay. So we'll just send it to USPS. Okay. Okay. So the color that I'm using for her hair is not for gray coverage. Um, she just likes her hair to be jet black. So I'm using Jazzing, which is another semi-permanent color made by Clairol. Um, this one is like a blue black, so it comes out like a solid black, but it does not cover gray very well. So this is why I don't use this color for gray. It's too thin. Um, what you for her after the leave and just treatment? She's, yeah, well, no, she's going to go under the dryer with no cap. All right, so Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes. All right, I'm going to sit over at the shampoo bowl. I mean, at the dryer chair. Um, so she got her color on. She's going to sit. No heat. She's sit with you. Yeah, okay. Are you pinning it up or are you wearing it down? I'm pinning it. Okay. We're going to do some curls on her. No comb, right? Just cap. No comb, right? No cap either. No. Oh, no. To cap. just go under just like that. How long? Uh, like 15 minutes. Alright, so we're going to blow her out. blow dryer the comb blow dryer is not going to really help me for her hair so i'll kind of just keep it all frizzy and i'm not going to look frizzy today 
So we're going to use this blow dryer.
gonna say protein. I mean, in the conditioner for the protein. Yeah, because I need something to, for at least a little shine. 
or the, the goddess polish. The one I which is the spray. Okay. So that is for shine. Okay. That's solely for shine. Yeah, because I know if I use something um, that, you know, most of the oils are just heavy for my hair and it mm -hmm. it. Yeah, the goddess polish can be used for shine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you guys, we're going to go ahead and curl her. I'm going to spray some goddess polish on her hair as I go. And then we're going to use the one and three fourths inch iron to curl her. Now her curls are not going to be super tight. If you want them super tight, you have to use a curling iron. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the red plate. Okay. So this is going to make her curls loose. The slower you go, the more curl you have when you're dealing with long hair. Most people, if they want like a super curl, then they would have to use a curling iron. Okay, so if you guys see, I just gave her a nice coil. That's what we go for with her hair because we put her hair in a bun. So her hair is nice and curly when she pulls it out. Or like a wavy, body kind of look.
Thank you. All because of myself. I get it. No, she takes really good care of her hair. Um, I mean, I don't think she's ever had short hair a day in her life, so I don't know what she'd do if she had to have short hair. <laughs> I think she'd probably have a connection because that's not what she's used to. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Do any other stylists that you know of use your products, or is it something you promote with other stylists? Do any other stylists that I know of use my products? I don't know of any. Um, I mean, I can honestly say within the black hair stylist community, we don't support each other like that. It's actually more competitive than support. It's easier to talk down about another stylist than to support them. And that's specifically, I can say here in Orlando, I don't know if it's like that everywhere else, but stylists here are crabs in a barrel. They rather talk bad about you than congratulate you. Sonetta asks, does she wrap her hair at night? Do you wrap your hair at night? Not much. Well, <laughs> Not often. Your hair at night? <laughs> I have just put it on a ponytail, but it's loose. The ponytail is pretty loose. They never wrap it like my bun. So she uses the bun method. It's a lot of hair to wrap, though, I will say.
I make it my duty not to honestly care about what another stylist is doing, so I have no reason to talk about that. Alexa, stop. Sam, you can go to the shampoo. Though. Alexa, stop. All right, so this is my final curl. got all her curls, so what we're going to do, no, one bun or two? Um, two. So we're going to do two buns. So we're going to do two buns. How I do the bun, I'm going to do the top one first. Okay, so before I do the bun, I'm going to go ahead and spray her with some goddess polish. why we do two buns is because it gives her more volume than if we do one bun. If you guys notice, I'm following the pattern of the curl. I'm not going against it. And then you pin it on top. bun will be down here. Same thing. I'm going to put everything in the same direction. Make sure her coil is smooth. This one will go right under the second one, or the first one. Okay. 
So when she goes home, today, tomorrow, whenever, she'll pull her bun out and then she'll still have that nice wavy curly look with volume. Here you go, Carter Cash. Oh, I'm sorry, Cash. <laughs> Bot action plants. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Good. I just. Thank you. Oh. It doesn't seem to be breaking too much. But um, I brought. I have the moisture shampoo and conditioner for you. Mm -hmm. And the 24 care thing. Last week? Yeah. And the prepare oil. Mm -hmm. I bought the bomb and I bought it with me. I went to my sister's milk. It's really hard. Mm -hmm. so I just scrape it out and put it on the back of your hand. Oh, I usually back finger scooping. Oh, yeah. well, you can do that too. Oh, okay. Put it on the front of it. It just kind of melts the body. Okay. Okay. No, but the moisture here, that might be too heavy for you here. I don't know. Heavy when you use it, the oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay, you guys, 
So she got a protein treatment today, so we're going to curl her up. I'm gonna use the seven tenths of an inch iron to do um, the nape of her neck. She has a bob. She went short. I think she thinks that this is the client with all that long hair. You never know, guys. This is another client, babe. I think she thinks that it was um that client. You you really think that I would cut her hair to this length? Yeah. Oh my God. That is different. No, she's not gonna go this short. And if she was this short, it would be a full bob, like a full on bob, because her hair is so long, it'll automatically be even. Now my client here, she is actually trying to grow her hair back out, get it healthy, that kind of thing. I just want it healthy. I just want it healthy and healthy. Yeah. You know, Catherine, I can only just read questions, darling. Be professional. But thank you. I wish I could, Miss Catherine. Um, Kimber said, Crystal, do you do your own hair at home or the salon? Both. And I also go to a stylist. Like when it's haircut time or when I just want my hair done without me touching it. Yeah, I go to. Tina, she does it. Um, when did you know you wanted to do hair? What led you to that decision? When did I know I wanted to do hair? Uh, middle school, when my mom couldn't afford to get my hair done and I wanted it to be cool and all that. And I just kind of learned how to do it on myself because my mom couldn't afford to do it. So I, it's kind of always just been like a little natural style, I guess natural gift. Did you do dolls and stuff like that? All the time. But I still didn't say, oh, I want to be a hairstylist. You revise haircut? Hmm? You revise haircut? Oh, I've jacked up a lot. <laughs> I've hid dolls from my parents that I cut up. I learned to braid on my hair. Yeah. 
I think it was more just because I knew that my mom couldn't pay for me to get my hair done all the time. So the easiest thing for me to do was to learn how to do hair. And then I had an incident in fifth grade. Never forget, actually, was it no, fourth grade, I had an incident. I got my first weave ponytail. This is when people were not like wearing weaves at all. And my neighbor did a weave ponytail for me with some braids in the front. I thought it was absolutely amazing. I get to school and a girl who, I guess that now in now terms, you can call her a bully, but back then there was no such thing. I mean, you just gotta learn how to fend for yourself. Um, she came up to me and they were trying to make fun of me because I had my hair done and none of them were used to having their hair done and they touched my, like, she didn't really touch my ponytail, she kind of tugged my ponytail and it fell out. And when she did that, my teacher, who also knew nothing about weave, Miss McMillan, I don't know whatever happened to her, um, she took me in the bathroom and tried to fix it, but no one understood weave yet. So they just tried to attach it the best way they could. And at that point, I said, you know what? That would never happen again. That was number one. So she could never play with me again. And that was the first time a teacher told me the next time a girl comes up to you and ever does something like that, that is when it's time for you to beat her in. It was my first time hearing a teacher speak that way. And she was just being blunt. She's like, you don't allow them to do that to you. And after that, you know, they didn't try me again because at that point I was ruthless. But... I had to learn how to fix my own hair. I had to figure out how to fix that ponytail when I got home because it was hanging on by a thread. And then from there, I just kind of learned how to do hair forever. So I guess, I guess your, your shame and your sadness and your hurt turns into something else. Sorry, I was trying to type and I didn't notice the other lady left when the client sat down. <laughs> it's okay, Jazz. Jazz also asked, do these products work for all types, all hair types? They do. They do, they do, and they do. I told my girl she will come see you and stop harassing me. Because she has natural hair. She'll think of her personal styles. It happens. She's like, you thought I had my hair. I was like, you'll figure it out. When I get to work, I'm like, okay, let's go. My kids are more like, Mom, are we going to go get our hair done? That's all. They don't want me to do their hair anymore. They want to go and sit in someone's chair. Somewhere, and, yeah. yeah. Not their mom's, but I guess it doesn't fit like a mom's hair. Yeah. 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 They say I do too much. No, I appreciate my being here all day. Thank you. It's nice to feel appreciated. <laughs> I can make plans and not just like, okay, hairdresser all day. Yeah, that part, you, don't, yeah. you can't predict if you're going to be here six hours or 12. Right. So I'm thirty. I said I'm gonna need to leave a little bit earlier. Oh wow! And what did they say? She's like, okay. No. Orange County couldn't. Um, their last day was Friday. So my kid's last day was Thursday. Oh, so my son's home. No, no, I'm talking where you are. A lot of people are on vacation. They're still in school. Yeah, they. Um, Brevard County will get out until Wednesday's their last day. Oh, wow. When do they go back? Um, same time we do. Oh, they cut. They're short. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're trying to have them make up for those, um... The storm. The I'm storm surprised days. we didn't, but they have it where they're... On their early days is when they're making up for those storm days. So it's about being early dismissal. Can okay, you just make them use time? Yeah. So, yeah, my son's home. He called me. He's like... Because I have to nest thermostat and I lock him out of it. He goes... <laughs> 
Can you turn the heat on? It's cold in the house. I just ordered some of the Echo Me today. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The chain drivers. Those thermostats make a huge difference in They do. Too. I have the Nest and I love it. They, they said they make a, a tremendous difference in, in your um, heat and the AC. Heat and the AC because wherever you go. So, or none they get enough comedy. But that was, I'm not going to say that because at some points in life when micros was a big thing, mm -hmm. a lot of braiders were using super glue to stop your hair and the end. You know how the micro would have the curl oh, on the okay. end? Mm -hmm. They use it to stop the fraying between your hair and the, so they put a drop of glue on your hair. And then a lot of people probably would have bought it because of it, but that was normal. Mm -hmm. It was like a normal thing. You'd always see girls with like a little white residue on their on their pinch flats, which that's what they were called then. What were they called? Huh? What were they called? Pinch flats. Pinch flats. Yeah. Oh. I miss my lazy hairstyle days. I mean, now it's the like remember the name finger waves mm -hmm. and your um, French rolls. <laughs> I used to sit on a chair every week. I'm like, yep, just put it up. Don't leave me out of anything to do. I'm a cancer. Super frugal, super sensitive. If I feel like you're being unfair to me, it bothers me to death. Cancer people are very fair people, but they are also very um, snappy. But I'm a, a cancer Gemini, or Gemini cancer, because I fall on the actual cusp. But I never really looked at Geminis. I didn't resonate myself as one, and then when I look at the stuff, I'm like, ooh, that is me.
control on her hairline. I'm using the charcoal edge chamber and then I'm using the edge brush. done celebrity here. No. I haven't had the opportunity. No celebrity. So much more product than when I got that quick one. I had a lot more, um, I had a lot less product now.
Okay. Trim time. Then we're gonna curl her. Doing your regular curl? Mm-hmm. Did we trim you the last time? Because your hair looks super even. That's what I told her, didn't I? Did I we trim you the last time? She said jelly. Yeah. Oh, so we're not gonna do a trim. So I'm like, why your hair looks super even? All right, so we're not going to trim. They say that blow dryer is something serious. Janelle, yes it is. Janelle said, where is the dicey? It's over there. I just didn't feel like plugging it out. And we're plugging one out and plugging the other one in. I can use either or. curling and pinning her this is another one of my many roller set clients <laughs> that comes and says oh, do you roller set I don't but I can give you this and then they become hooks because they're not under the dryer several hours and it still looks exactly the same So she likes hers with a lot of body, so I try to do hers um, slightly smaller, not super small, but slightly. And then I'm using the Vivace one and three fourths inch ceramic pro iron. Stylist putting them under the dryer, but it actually diminishes the life of the color. It doesn't help. You don't need to go under the dryer for the color to do what it needs to do. Her client's hair lets you know her products are on point. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mary. Janelle said, when, when did you know that you could produce quality products? When did I know that I could do what? When did you know that you could produce quality products? Oh, um, I kind of didn't know. I tried a thing and it worked out great, and then I just kind of learned from there. I'm still learning about ingredients right now. So trial and error, talking, Googling, that's kind of how I learn. I need 
to show me something. I need you to tell me something anyway. So just sit here. Stay there for a second. Let me finish. Up. Oh, I forgot. I forgot you had something to do. All right, I'll call you. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Don't you ever go all the way? Like Winter Park, Winter Park, or like up the street Winter Park? Yeah, that's Winter Park. Winter mm -hmm. Park. You should go. Okay. Up the street Winter Park is like five seven. You're welcome, Gmail. Yeah. I'll call you for Alright, Max needed it for me. But she said if I can come today, I'm going to have to do it next year. Her schedule, so. Because mm -hmm. you know, like, if, yeah, it's already 2.40, so. Yeah. If it's 20, 30 minutes, you still do it. No, not really. Because she didn't put me in the book. She was just like, I have to wait anyway. Try to get there before four, if at the latest. So. All right, that's your choice. If you want to wait, you can wait. I'm almost done. Hey, why did this turn off? You want to wait? You want to? I'll swing back through. If you're still here. Okay, that's yours. I'll call you. Bye. Okay. 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 I'll talk to you. All right. Alright, you guys. So as I'm curling her, I'm gonna still allow the curls to cool. That is how you keep the shape of your curls or your coils and kind of like lock them in is a good word. Okay, so while it cools down, I'm gonna spray it with some goddess polish. She likes edge control, so we'll put a little edge control now so she can leave me alone. Thank All right, so we're gonna take these down. Basically, you wanna start with whatever you did first and then work your way through it. Thank you. 
Right. She is all done. Disaster. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys. I said beautiful. She got one. <laughs> <laughs> She's super extra. Okay, you guys. My work for today is done. Thank you, Jesus. I'm ready to go. done working on this Monday Whew. not used to working these kinds of days anyhow everybody have a good rest of your day um, I'm gonna go and get some gift bags for my kids because I didn't have enough for their little bit of gifts and then I will see everybody bright and early tomorrow because I will be in the salon tomorrow. For those of you that are watching, don't forget the 11.50 sale is going on as we speak. So you guys be sure to grab all of the items excuse me, that you need. And I'll see everybody later. Peace.